opening night of the regular season. I cannot wait for this one. Welcome back to EA Sports, everybody. James Sabolski and Ray Ferraro set for the play-by-play. -play. There is always something magical about opening night, and we are set to get underway. Put the chatter aside. The puck is dropped. Here we go. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. The Oilers play it along the boards. And he says no! The Canucks have it now. Moves the puck across to Besser. Gains the zone from the right. Here's the shot! That's kicked away with the pad by Smith. Sadin's a playmaker and a good one at that, guys. He sees the ice so well, but it's his deceptive passing that can create chances for his squad. We call that his third eye zone ability, and it's how he contributes offensively. Picked up along the boards by Dreisaitl. Edmonton's looking to break out. Bank pass off the boards. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Takes the feed. And now he moves it quickly to Sadine. Here's the pass. Right in front. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Smith. Vancouver's got possession at center. And the puck dies with the trapper save. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. You can defend, but you've got to let the opponent skate. And as soon as you don't, you're in danger of interference getting called. Pedersen's an important piece to this power play unit, guys. He's got that zone ability, and it could really be the key to get things going here and give them the advantage. Pedersen's won the draw. Great save by Smith. And that's knocked away by Miller. And they get that puck down the ice. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Down the right side and into the zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Battling for it along the boards. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Broussard. Vancouver's got possession here in the neutral zone. Pedersen's got the puck. Receives the pass. Makes the club stop. Smith's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Sadin's third eye zone ability is all about his passing skills. He can dish pucks and complete passes that are really difficult to make, guys. He's creative, deceptive, and skilled, and that's really what makes him the playmaker that his teammates just love to play with. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. Looks pretty confident with the puck on his stick here in the offensive zone. You know he'd like to get his first NHL goal. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Canucks gain possession. Moves the puck. A chance! Denied by Smith. Tees him up! And that shot gets caught in traffic. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Nice dish from the left wing. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Barry. And they send it down the ice. Vancouver's got it from behind the net. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Now a quick pass to Sadine. Textbook stop by Smith. Takes a shot. Oh, wow, stops the game. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Pedersen's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Ten more Nurse seconds. is ready to go. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And the puck clears the zone. The Canucks power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Always oh, he's, he's got a step. Oh, and a trip. This hustle effort there to break it up. Man, that step you talked about, James, disappeared. Excellent second effort to get back in the play. Taken by Bertuzzi. He carries the puck up along the wing. Tries to get it over to Pedersen. Moves it to Miller. 
Legend's got the puck now. Takes the feed. Puck scooped up by Broussard. The Oilers play it along the wing. Turned aside with the glove by Demko. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow theme. James and Ray with you tonight. Still no score in this one. The Oilers win the faceoff. Handles the puck. Moves right to the middle. And they come up empty-handed. The Canucks gain control of the puck. And the puck skips away after that move. Sometimes trying a little bit too much is just no good for anybody. That play gets broken up. Shot change, denied by the puck stopper. Dangerous spot in the slot. The goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Canucks win the draw. Hangs onto the puck. Burroughs takes it along the wing. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Edmonton's got to hold him in against the wall. And he regains control of the puck. With some open space at center. Grabbed along the boards by Linden. Takes the feed up ahead. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Burroughs looks around. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Here's a short pass to Bouchard. Gives it right back. They've got some momentum here. Drives to the paint. Denied with the blocker. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Edmonton gained possession along the boards. Well, he's calling him out now. And here we go. Yeah, this one was uh, to be expected. After the player got hurt, you would hope his teammate would jump in and try and defend him. Down he goes, fairly one-sided, would you say? Yeah, I've been on the other side of that one side, and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way. Story of my life in elementary school, Ray. Not much to be said from the home team here. Their bench kind of quietly sits back down after their guy comes on the losing end of this bout. Yeah, the air from this building seems to have just deflated in here. Both teams lined up in the face-off circle after the ice was finally decluttered moments ago. And now it's grabbed by Barry. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick feed to Linden. Vancouver's moving it up the ice. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Here in the late goings of the period, still scoreless in this one. The Oilers get a hold of the puck with time winding down in the period. Passes it over to Dreisaitl. Denied by the goaltender. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. There's the horn. Ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you. And we'll be back for period number two in a moment. Teams back on the ice, they're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? I'd like to see somebody get a little aggressive here offensively. There's nothing going on in this scoreless game. Vancouver's got him along the wall. 
and he comes up with it. Smith's able to angle that save over to the corner so there's no rebound. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The game is still scoreless. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's gained possession. Driving right to the front. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. won the faceoff. Puck picked up by McDavid. Turn that chance aside. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Center's gliding up to the faceoff dots here. Edmonton's got it, and they're on the attack. Lays out to block the shot. He got all of that one. Salo's got the puck in his own zone. Across the line from center. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Great defensive effort with the stick. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Good footwork to kick it away. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Demko's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We've still got zeros on the board. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Moves with the puck at the corner. Close save! Demko's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Broussard's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And he puts that one aside with ease. won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Quick feed to Bouchard. Long reach breaks up the momentum. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Quick pass to Burroughs. Love said made by Smith. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Broussard's won it in their own end. Feeds the puck to Fogel. There's a shot. Makes the save. Miller's time in the penalty box is done after that fight. And now he can get back to playing hockey here. This is what he does, and he should be able to generate some chances tonight. Demko's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. More than half the period has expired. Still looking for our first goal. The Canucks take possession off the faceoff. Moves it to Besser. That pass goes a little sideways. Let's it fly. Foley with a stop. Smith's probably the one reason that this game is the way it is. His save percentage has been outstanding. Vancouver's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Here's a short pass to Sadine. Oh, the sauce on that pass. Puts it on net. He scores! It's in, and I believe that's his first. Congratulations, his first goal. I don't think anybody expects much offense from him, but it's still got to feel good. The Canucks 
Let's win it. Puck grab by Mitchell. And now it's over to Sadine. Nice pass. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Smith's strength is technically, he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. Scooped up along the wall by Dreisaitl. Sadin scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Takes the pass. Buries it for the goal. I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no goals in three games in the middle of the year, nobody cares. At the start, it really matters. Well, guys, he was able to make a great pass with his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability, and it led to that goal right there. That was a great assist on the play. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. And no luck on that pass attempt. Let's it fly. Tunnels on the pad. Great heads-up play with the stick by Barry. Oh, and a heads-up play to poke it away. Nice zone entry from the left. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Quick pass to Myers. Dishes it to Sadine. Quick feed to Garland. That's blocked. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. And now he angles it across to Salo. Back to the point it goes. Blocked in traffic. 51 seconds. 33 seconds to go. Quick shot. That's blocked by Smith. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Oh, that goal is 99th. Puts him right at the cusp of 100 career goals. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Oilers win the draw. Slides the puck to shore. Shoot. Easily turned aside by Denko. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Puck is shot and play resumes. Salo stick handling in his own zone. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. On the doorstep. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save! Let's get the call. Sedin's going off to the box for two minutes. The Oilers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's going to be like. This is the power play's first chance. We'll see if they can get on the board. And they manage to clear it. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. Here's a shot. Comes up with a stop. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken by Besser. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Right in the slot. And that's broken up. Now yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. Scrum ensues along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Here's a 
chance. Stopped by the goaltender. As soon as he can turn himself towards the net, he is gone. They don't catch him, but the goalie makes the save on a nice effort. Edmonton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Rocks him on the play. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Ahead of steam now towards the front. The Canucks have it now. Oh, and it goes off the outside of the post. Ah. The Canucks quickly started to look at the tablets on the bench to see if that puck hit the post and went in or crossed the line. It didn't, and the lead will remain the same. Sedin's got it in the defensive end. Oh, Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck to Salo. And here's the pass to Pedersen. Right in front of the net! And that's picked off. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Demko! Smothered that in close chance. Oops, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Let's see what the officials are calling. Not great awareness here. You take a penalty, you're trailing in the game. Really going to be difficult to find the equalizer. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Power plays go up and down. That's just the way they are. But when you haven't been successful, you've got to reload, refocus, and get to work on that next one. Oh, just wide of the net. That play happens so quickly, they're in good position, but they don't get the puck on the net. And all that work goes to waste. The flames boom as the next date for these guys when they're back on the ice. You'd be surprised at how many players don't know the schedule. They just know the really? team they're playing tonight. Oh, yeah, and they don't know who's coming next. Quick pass to Miller. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Frustrating night for the offensive players on both teams. Plenty of chances, not much production. The goals are not there, the chances are. And you have to try and dig away for one chance that might make the difference. Sends it across. And that's picked off in front. Nurse is moving the puck through his own zone. Move to the middle. He was right there and they can't convert. Taken along the wall by Pedersen. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. With possession along the wall. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Patience with the puck's a key in four-on-four. -four. You've got more time. Don't give the puck away. Denied by Demko. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. 200 goals is a nice milestone in your career. He's just done that with that latest tally. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Canucks are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Moussa to Bouchard. Turns it away on the slot shot. Manages to hang on. Up along the wing. And that pass can't connect. They fight for it along the boards. Pass back to the point. Centering pass. Comes up with the stop. Smith's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? McDavid's looked good tonight, guys. This was a tough choice because the players were tied in points, but I thought he stood out a little more in this one. Great heads-up play to poke it away in the offensive end. The Oilers take it along the wall. A chance! And that one's turned away. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face-off. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. 
Puck scooped up by Dreisaitl. Fantastic save! Here's a short pass to Keith. Oh, what a stick save! Good technique as the puck is over to the corner out of the way. Penalty expires and the PP unit gets set to go to work. And they clear that puck. Edmonton's got the puck behind the net. Into the attacking end. Looks to set up at the point now. And that banks off a stick. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Edmonton's got the puck. Takes a shot. And that was stopped. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Horvat's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Steps in and takes the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Gains the zone from the right side. The Canucks will kill off a few extra seconds now. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Miller's ready to join the play. The Oilers have it behind the net. Into the offensive zone. Edmonton's power play fails to deliver a goal. They still trail by one. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Here's a chance. That's turned away with the pad by Demko. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Vancouver's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Edmonton's won the draw, and that's blocked. The Canucks move it ahead. Garland's gonna play it from the back of the cage. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Nice zone entry from the right side. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Back at the point, they set it up. Slides the puck over and makes the save. Demko's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. The setters will glide into the dot. Vancouver's won the draw. And now he moves it to Besser. The Canucks slide it through center. And they cough it up at center. And now it's grabbed by Hyman. Nowhere for that shot to go through. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Vancouver's got it from behind the net. The Oilers have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. A shot into the yachting cage. And that doesn't go. Sends it quickly to Kane. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. A shot at the empty net. Picked up along the wall by Keith. And that doesn't exactly... Chance at an empty netter here. Oh, it can't connect. Angles it over to Dreisaitl. Edmonton's in now. Couldn't complete the pass. Puck picked up by Besser. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. A shot at the empty net. Misses. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. The Canucks had to scratch and claw for every inch of the ice tonight, and it paid off. I thought they panicked a little bit in the third period, and... What should have been a more comfortable win became really tight and really nervous for them at the end. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.